Now this is face plate work or bowl work where the grain runs across the bed of the lathe down this way. It's at right angles to the chuck or the headstock and you face two problems with it. The end grain on this corner and the end grain on that corner there. As, it, as the timber rotates, the chisel is going to want to hit on this corner and try and lift the grain out. Now, if you use a spindle roughing gouge for this, it can be very, very dangerous because you'll catch that corner like that. I'll give it a decent whack and that's the result. Now if a piece of timber is rotating fairly quickly you get a chip like that only it'll be a fairly big one. Be. So that is one problem with using a spindle roughing gouge and I'll just start the lathe up. Now I do not condone this in any way shape or form. You should not use a spindle roughing gouge on bone. The gouge does the job far easier and quicker for the simple reason that it has not got these corners in the way here. Now it is the way that the spindle roughing gouge is sharpened that is the biggest problem. So I'll start the lathe up and I'll just show you what can happen. Now I don't know if you saw that or not but that was a big chip that just came off the side of it. Now you can see how it's ripping out this corner here which is the end. It cuts that corner alright because that's fair enough. You can see the damage on this side here where the chisel is catching on the edge. So you say, ah yes, but you don't sometimes rough a bowl down like that. You move the tool rest around to the side here, around to the face and you work from the front to the back. So we can start from the face here. You'll You remove your weight there and you can feel it, you can hear the chisel kicking back because it's got no real bevel support behind it down in this corner here, down in there, until it starts making the cut which makes it dangerous as well because it can sort of skip backwards like so. Now, so until you've got bevel support, that's dangerous. You'll notice that I'm using it the way a normal person would use it, that's at 90 degrees for the work. Now what happens is you get into here, this will not go further. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do not use a spindle roughing gouge. Like that, that is the result of a spindle roughing gouge getting caught in a piece of timber. This is why you do not use a spindle roughing gouge on a bowl. And I'll show you what happened in a minute in slow motion without cutting the finger again. Now whenever you have a catch with any tool it pays to switch off the lathe and have a look and do an autopsy as to why the tool caught. Now the reason that this happened is that it reached the end of the cut there and that horn here, down on this edge here, got caught on this one here, brought the chisel over the top like that my hand slid down the end and got caught between it and the thing o and it ripped this corner out with it like that and there's the blood on it on the timber to prove it where it hit me this edge here got the edge of my finger down there and uh, consequently put blood all over my tool rest and the lathe and the timber if you were staining it you'd be in a bit of trouble so I must admit I tried for six hours last night to try and get a catch with this and couldn't do it I wasn't expecting such a spectacular one today but we've got it and that's the reason you don't use a spindle roughing gouge on bowl work or cross grain work or face plate work whatever you want to call it